All right. Had a couple of requests for uh, a Jeep update. Not really anything to talk about. Haven't touched this thing in a while. Uh, no moisture on the windows from the inside there. Just been sitting. Brakes are shot in the back. They keep tightening, and I drove it down the freeway, knowing they were tight. Without couldn't get them to release. This one anyway. This one side. So I fried that axle seal. Got all the parts, just been too many other projects going on. Can't good till August of next year, so I mean need to get her up and going again, but dumping all my time and effort in the chem project right now. Drilled my hole in the carpet. It's frozen, so I'm still getting moisture in there, but I'll help keep it a little bit drier in here. So we fire it up for a little bit. See what happens. Do the old cold start. Uh, 173 on the clock, minus 13, so I'll be 160,000 miles on her. A little bit of moisture on the inside, not as bad as it has been, so... Buzzer still works. She fires right up. I haven't started this thing in probably two, three weeks. Good little rig. Just need to get the rear end taken care of. That's pretty nice. Just let it run for a few minutes and charge up the old battery. Super swampers are holding up pretty good. My spare, it's a brand new tire on a rusty old rim. Just have a spare. So what have I done to this thing lately? I did tow hooks on the front here not too long ago. I got some recovery points now. I do have a new adjustable track bar for the front. I don't remember where I left that, it's in the garage somewhere. That's where I was looking at just the other day. Something's got to be put on. You know, my fabulous organizational skills. But when I shut the camera off, we'll see if I can find that and then I'll show you all. But, uh, open diff, front and rear. I'd like to put a locker or something in it, but I don't trust that being a 35. There's a lot of bad things about people putting lockers in them. But yeah, get that up and going. Thinking about hauling this down to the brother's house. Taking all the bits and parts to it. Maybe do that this weekend. I'll talk to him about it. Get it out of the driveway at least. And then, uh, since he's a certified mechanic and it's better at this stuff than I am, all the bits and pieces in the back. I wonder if that tire would work as a spare on our trailer. Let's check the bolt pattern. But all this stuff in here is scrap. So. All that stuff on the shelf up there is is uh, all the top end motor parts for this thing. I'm not going to pop the hood on it. This thing's got brake problems. I'm going to try to go get a new master cylinder and or master uh, power booster and master cylinder for it. I have the keys for it looking right now. I tried starting it last night. Battery was dead. Of course, she's out of gas now sitting on this hill. I ran it pretty low. But uh, yeah, hopefully in the next few days here, get it going. Probably get it down, get the front end alignment here in the next week or two. The old Red Beast still chugging along just fine. And you've got all the little bits of lift parts for it that need to get put on. Probably going to buy a carburetor and possibly a camshaft for her. Maybe this spring I'll get everybody that I know together that likes to work on cars and we'll have a, a 
good old Toon Brian's truck party or something like that. And a silver beast way over there. Still running strong. Needs a rear main seal. Got that part too, but I got lots of parts, just not around to do much. The Oldsmobile. I did order a radiator support, found a good used one off of eBay. It was about uh, Oh, less than half the price of a brand new one, plus it was cheaper shipping than ordering a brand new one, so hopefully that will show up before Christmas, because I'm probably not going to be around for a good chunk of my holiday break. Where I work, we uh, have the option to take off from Christmas through New Year's. If you work it, you make a whole boatload more money, but that'll get that front end started then, and get that front bumper off still. I need to get serious about doing some body work on this thing. Get Ken over here one of these days and start sanding, getting that paint stripped down. So, well, there's kind of an overall vehicle update. I want to go to the junkyard one of these days, see if I can't locate a set of trunk hinges for the Cadillac. These are bent, so the trunk sits up high. And my little trunk pull down mechanism died on me, so it's got a gap under there. It's not letting water in yet, but. 50 bucks I can get a new one on eBay. I'll just do that. Cadillac wants like 180 for one. So take my little classic badge off the grill there. Saw a couple of them without that. So I like the way it looks cleaner. Just got her zip tight on this side here. It's kind of loose. Missing part of the filler piece there that it attaches to, so something else to look for. But anyway, there you are. Jeep runs, technically she drives, but not far, I don't want to kill that axle totally, I don't know how much fluid's left in that rear end. I'll have to move her around, she's not making any funny noises yet, so there's a little bit in there. But I don't know, maybe the next few weeks, get this thing fixed up. I guess, I guess with the trailer I could haul it down to the brother's place and we could do that before work one day or something around a weekend. He's working so much overtime right now. Anywho. We got seven minute vehicle update. Rambling on about junk. I want to get this thing back on the road. This thing I'd like to get running so we can sell it off. Still needs a windshield and some sort of seat cover. Two Chevys though, keep going strong. Thing there. I'm sure we got the hitch in the back still. We're going to be towing Ken's parts car down to the scrapyard today, I think. Yep, the really hitch is there. Tools, we're gonna knock those wheels loose. Sorry, my star wrench. I gotta get into the Cadillac for that. Pop those wheels off because uh, they're gonna go under his white car tonight or tomorrow. Off that black Trans Am. And then ultimately, when he gets his Trans Am wheels, those rims off the black car are gonna go on this thing. So I'll have some rolling rubber under it until I can get around to buying my rally wheels, but I'm not doing that until this thing's closer to being roadworthy. But anywho, that would be a good idea just to let that thing run for a little bit. Turn the heat on. Dry out the interior a little. It'd be nice to get this thing back going again. Good little rig. So, there you are. I can't think of anything else to ramble on about. Stay tuned for more vehicular videos. She's a whole friggin' fleet of stuff around here. This one's a nice car, though. This was a good buy. Hopefully. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.